Hey, it's Dylan. I'm. This is my first Gary's Mod tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a Hammer of Dawn like in Gears of War. Alright, so let's get started. You'll also learn how to use a hover drive with a laser pointer. Alright, so first we're going to. I'm just going to spawn a 1x1 one one plate. It's the plastic plate, so it's gridded, because I don't have the smart snap, so. Because I'm lazy. Oh, no, I don't want the Hydra. Let's see. Alright, so spawn a hover drive and easy weld it to the middle of the plate. It's important that you weld it to the very middle. And, uh, just make it so that it's in the middle, because that's where it jumps to. Alright, that's good. Okay, and then we need a laser pointer receiver. Now, go and put that right smack dab on the end, and then flip it vertically. There we go. And make an add gate. Put that just wherever you want, it doesn't really matter. And a constant value of... Right now we'll do 2,000, because that's going to be the height that it floats over. See, so if you increase that, then it'll just go up. It'll just be higher when you teleport. Alright. So, make this horizontal again. Just because. Alright. Now our X jump target to the laser pointer receiver, or LPR, to output X. Y jump target, output Y. And then Z jump target to the add key. Or the A on the add to the constant value. And the B to the laser pointer receiver, Z. Okay. Now I get to show you how this works. This is essentially a very simple little thing that I came up with. And you need to link your la your laser pointer. And when oh, sorry, I almost forgot. You have to wire set jump target to output active on the laser pointer receiver, and jump to output active. Okay, now it'll work. Now. When you point at a certain point, the hover drive will float, will teleport 2,000 units over that point. So, like that. You see, it's pretty damn hard. So, I'm going to bring it back down. And now you're thinking, well, I, that's all well and dandy, but um, in Gears of War 2, in Gears of War 1, Gears of War 1 you are able to move it around, well that's what we're about to get to. Okay, so just put regular hover balls on the ends, have it no controls, really strong strength. Air resistance needs to be 0.5 and movement speed needs to be 10. Alright, and then put it put one on each of the corners so that floats. And don't worry, once when the hover drive teleports, it won't make your hover balls freak out and like want to go down or up. It'll teleport with them. So as long as you have them so that they're not all glowy or anything, then you should be fine. Now we are going to need um, four vector thrusters. You can have as many as you really want. Um, but I like four just for control. Just put one on each corner. You have to click it twice because it tells you to finish for some reason. Alright, and now because vector thrusters are glitchy for some reason, you have to weld them to your panel. I don't know, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't, but I don't know. Now you're going to need a GPS, so you're just going to scroll down and GPS. Put that smack dab in the middle of your plate on the bottom. Now go to Gate Arithmetic, 
and get two subtract gates. Now this one subtract gate is going to be the X, the other is going to be the Y. Alright, and okay, now we can start wiring with it. Wire mole on all of the vector thrusters to the laser pointer receiver output active. Now, you're going to have to remember which subtract gate is X and which one's Y. I usually have X on the left and Y on the right. Just, it's important that you remember those. Wire X on the vector thrusters, um, all to the same subtract gate. And the same thing for Y with the other subtract gate. Okay, once you've done that, wire A on your subtract X to the laser pointer output X, laser pointer receiver, sorry, and B on the GPS output X. And the same thing for the other subtract, except for output Y on both of them. Alright. Now there's a there's a little thing that I still haven't quite memorized with this. It's that sometimes with the subtract gates you have to wire the A to um the GPS and B to the laser pointer receiver. So if it doesn't work on your first shot, then just try to mess with it and it will probably work. Alright, and if I did this right, and I freeze it. And it should move wherever I tell it to go. So it'll teleport. Yeah, see, I did it wrong. I'll wire B to the laser pointer receiver and A to the GPS. That looks right. Okay, now, it wouldn't be a Hammer of Dawn unless it had amazingly power, powerful guns. So what I'm going to do right now is just make a laser. We'll take this. Oh, I like this model. Um, of course, I want the damage to be super high. Not one. Alright, and then it's important that you put this right in the middle of your GPS, because that's where it's going to try to go. Right. Now you have to wire, uh, actually before you touch it, make sure that it doesn't collide with anything and that you weld it to the other props, or else it'll glitch out and be annoying to deal with. There we go. Now, wire on to laser pointer receiver, output active. And that should be it. Let's test it out. You know, I'm going to turn Buddha mode on because I'll probably zap myself. Laser. There it is. Okay. And as you can see, it tries to move over the point. Right. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's if you have the laser pointer on a laser on a certain power, you can kill pretty much anything. And you can outfit this with almost any kind of gun that you want. It's just important that you put it right in the middle of the GPS. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and, I don't know, post a comment. And I might make other tutorials. Alright, see ya.